It was my first year in college and I was away from home and it was a new environment, new people, and he was the sweetest guy I'd ever met and my only connection at home. And for the most part, I was the happiest girl in the world. All have sinned and fallen short of your glory. Only you and I know the enormity of my story. I've been through enough, if only they knew. They don't and they won't. Maybe just a few. He came to visit me once and that was the first time that he'd been around me and my new friends and that's when I started to see how insecure he was. And for some reason I was scared and I always wanted to make him happy and we came home from a party one day and we'd both been drinking and he got very angry because I wasn't paying him enough attention. And I didn't understand why he was so mad. And after he went away, I found myself always trying to make sure I was there when he called and I was pretty much always afraid, but I guess I thought I was happy. And then on his next visit, it was another party. What I thought was a good time actually wasn't for him. And before I knew it, I'd been pushed against a wall and hit in the face. I remember being so shocked and afraid and I didn't know what to do as he knelt in front of me and promised that it'll never happen again. And I believed him. And it turns out that it would happen again. And I'd believe him six more times after. I remember the day I finally told someone. I was in my locker room, and it was right after basketball practice. And one of my teammates had noticed a bruise on my back. It was from when he kicked me while I was down the weekend before. And she asked me where I got that from. And I used to bruise easily. I mean, basketball is a contact sport, so I got bruises all the time. But when she saw it, she was like, there was no way that came from basketball. I remember breaking down and crying and then finally feeling free just by speaking to one person and telling them what happened. And I remember her asking me why I never spoke about it. And it was until that moment that I never actually really thought about it. I never spoke about it because I didn't want to be the girl whose boyfriend was beating her up. I wanted to protect him. And it's funny because I see that I valued his protection more than I valued my own. And I guess I really never understood what love and respect was. I wanted to be a part of this project because putting an end and speaking out against domestic violence is a cause that's very dear to my heart and one I'm very passionate about. I wanted to encourage young women who've encountered abuse, who've seen abuse, to speak out against it. I believe that as women, we're born, respected, and we're privileged. And I think every young woman should know that love and respect does not make you feel 